Hello, hello there, YouTubers. I'm back. And I'm back for a, a, a Photoshop tutorial part two. So we were already left off, we finished the bikini. So now we're gonna actually go on to the gloves on the character and let's say the, skill, sk the skin and the heels or so. So now let's get started. As we finished off, we started basically doing the actual gloves on a character. And we started basically uh, drawing the gloves of the character itself and started doing layer blending on a character itself and doing a lot of layer blending and stuff like that on a character itself. And started doing like Photoshop technique itself on a character. And I started basically actually drawing out the creases of the lines of the, uh, the gloves itself, which is very, very easy. And as we can see, once we're finished all that, you see the same process I did for the bikini. I add the uh, lights and the highlights. And I started doing, adding a darker color tone, just one solid, and I started designing the shading for the actual gloves itself. The glove strings itself, as you can see, I started doing the different shading parts of there. And then started adding a lighter capacity brush and doing the shading on the bottom piece of the gloves. And then I started doing a mask to separate the different texture map of, to separate the color and, and define the selection of the color into its proper layer form. So I select a mask button, I would say. To erase, I use a mask to erase any access colors that's unnecessary for this for this, for this heel that I used. And we start using the mask for, let's say basically the, the, the black part of the heel or, or so, which I think is this right here. So I kind of, kind of did inverse and I just selected in there and I just started erasing around certain sections of the heel itself. And then I took a smaller brush and then I just started cutting away through the different lines and then I just started selecting. And I lower down the capacity of one of the heel pieces.
then I started drawing like white lines to separate the, the line structure of the heel. I started using white highlights for, for the line of the heel itself. Then I take a larger airbrush to draw out the, the shading of the heel itself to darken up the lines to give it more, more depth and le level shading on that, the actual basically heel part, it's the bottom heel part. Then I started drawing that to start erasing any access lit color. Then I started drawing the white lines to the white highlight lines on the bottom of the heel. It's the same process I kind of did kind of on the, on the bikini itself, but I kind of lower down the ca capacity on the heel part piece itself. And then I take a large soft airbrush to 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 paint out like like the large white highlights to, to to represent that the heel is very very shiny like plastic latex texture And then I started going with a small brush and doing the outline of the skin texture itself with a small brush to separate the, the line structure of the skin. Instead of using a mask, this is much more faster and much more control, I would say. And then I went with say, the, the, the magic wand tool I select and I went inverse. And then I deleted the outside selected layer of the skin itself. And then I draw out like simple blobs on the layer of the brush so I can actually ha use the eyedropper tool and select it in a way. So this is what I would do in a way. And then I just do the same blending, alt, alt blending texture thing itself. So I think I should actually go back to right here. Yeah, right here I selected the, the, the airbrush of different ca colors right about here. And then I add the airbrush right here. And then I try to actually um, draw out the simple textures and the simple colors itself. And then I draw out the general colors. I selected three different colors, including the one main color that the skin did. The main color I choose right here for the skin right there. I'm going to go right here. Right here is the main color I got right here that was used for this color right here. And then I used two different dark colors, two different dark tones for the leg of the skin itself. Realistically, I would say it's only like two shadings, levels of shading that I use for the skin itself. I, to me personally, I, I think you only need that much. Then I do layer blending itself on top, and that's what I did.
just blend out the different color textures itself of the skin itself. So I just use the alt button with the airbrush and just blend blend as I go itself. Kind of lowered the, the And as I sh shade, I just kind of shade one of the legs. And then I add like a darker tone to 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 represent the very even darker tones of shading on a character's mo model, and then I just went into blending even more. The O key, the O key is used for blending the the character itself. Then I use a darker tone of shading for the actual, basically, bikini strings. So I can do the outside skin layer of the bikini strings, including the high heel strings itself. As you can see, the same process I did for the skin, I did the exact same thing for for the skin, for for uh, for for the right side right side leg. I would say the bottom part leg, or the 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 other leg I did right here itself. You see right here, I would I'm gonna I do the same process for this leg, including the skin and the rest of the. Skin. For this part of the leg right here, I do the same process of blending, alt key blending, and then I use the same colors right here for that, for, for, for this leg, and for the rest of this body, the rest of the skin on the body itself. So I'm not going to really talk, so I'm just going to just, just kind of just basically we just watch along.
So as you can see, as I blend and blend other things, I keep adding newer layers and making newer layers on top tops, immersion them, merging them, merging the layers at the bottom once, I, once I'm finished. So I kind of fast forward it, it right there to make it more fast. But as you can see, I'm done the stomach. As you can see, I do the face, so I kind of just go through the face, and I kind of pay more attention to detail on the face, and more attention to blend blendness on the face. So I would kind of use like two two different colors, but I will, my main purpose is getting the face done right, and designing the face in a very proper, efficient way, and getting the p face done done in a very proper right way. Looks like we're almost done. Then just delete the axis lines on the face. And I guess that's what the, it looks like so far. So uh, I, I guess we're done right now. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial a whole lot. Please subscribe and give me likes and stay tuned for part three, which is 
think it could, it's the final tutorial of this Photoshop drawing tutorial. Uh, the character that I'm drawing is called Ariel. I would say I just named her Ariel or so. So please stay tuned. Thank you. Goodbye.